All right. Why don't we discuss kind of the current status of Inter Miami? Um, so we talked a little bit before. Inter Miami has already changed its logo. So your yes. hair is just a little bit apart. Um, you know, promoting the good social distancing, and um, you know, you love to see that. You love to see yeah. that. Yes. Um, obviously, the the team's in the same place as the rest of the league. Uh, everyone's at home. Uh, a lot of the players are posting like they're training at home, their workouts, their how they're dealing with the the boredom of of the quarantine. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, going into the Galaxy game, we had seen a lot of positive marks. Like obviously. Uh, the LAFC game, we had multiple chances to score. We got beat by an MVP goal by the MVP. Like, one nil to the to the defending support shield champions at home, at their home. That's nothing to gripe about. Like, you can't be mad about that. Uh, the DC game, man, man. Yeah, for a lot, I've watched MLS for a long time, so it, a lot of what was happening was not surprising to me. But there were a lot of very confused and angry people, and I'm like, "This is the league we are in, guys. This will happen a lot to us. Welcome." And we were all very angry about it because it's very, very upsetting to go two nil up, and then within ten minutes you are now two one down, and a player down, a player that shouldn't have gotten red carded because if you look. At the video, his hand was pushed into the ball. I don't care what anyone says. Penalty was weak. I'm just, I don't even want to talk about it because I, no. It just, <sighs> MLS yep. refs, man. Pro, yep. pro strikes again, and, and, and it was only game two for us that we were introduced to pro in the best way possible. 